Hello everyone and welcome to another custom map tech video. This is episode 2 and in this we're going to look at basic concepts for brains for your custom map. What we have over here is essentially just a counter. This is a much simpler version than the version that I used in the Aranev Mansion Adventure but it does pretty much the same thing. One day we'll do a tutorial on that but for this it's just for the basic concept. What happens is every time you trigger this electronic signals here, 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 and here, it will push a block out and the sand will slowly fill down and propagate throughout these blocks here. That will turn on these lights one at a time. Once you get to the third one, it's going to change this track to be pointing a different way. So let's try it out. Now, the quest is to destroy as many pumpkin heads as you can. So let's go through this first door and destroy the pumpkin head and see what happens. Okay, so I destroyed the pumpkin, I come back through and you can see over here the counter has raised to one. It doesn't actually count when you destroy the pumpkin head unless you put redstone on it, but if you're following the rules of the map and it's telling you to collect the head, you can pretty much assume that the person isn't stupid enough to leave the head behind. Now over here we go to the next part. The key is to hide all the electronics into something that you would be doing to get to the pumpkin head. Here we have a lever that we need to pull twice just to open up the gate. Now all of these things are attached to RS nor latches. Everybody's seen these before. They're basically two blocks. This is the simplest design. Two blocks arranged like this. The redstone torch. When one of these is powered it keeps its state, uh, so it will turn this one off and this one will stay on. Now this one will stay on forever, so as many times as I turn this off and on, it's not going to count up more than just the one. So you can see over here, it, can re it has registered that I have found two. So let's go to the next one. Oh, there's a pumpkin head inside that glass. How am I going to get to it? Well, let's blow up this TNT. Ah! Boom. Now even though it destroyed pretty much everything, the redstone circuit is intact and you can see it registered that I triggered it. The redstone torch is on which goes through here and you can see the counter went up one. So we'll go and we'll take our head. And now we're at the last section here. Now the only way to get this one is to travel through this track. Uh, I guess I need to go on a quest to find a minecart. Okay, now that I found one, <laughs> we'll get in here, go across the track. Now we're here. You can see this RS Norlatch has now been triggered because I went over this detector rail. Now there's lots of ways you can do that. But because I put the detector rail on the inside, you know that the person has entered this room. You know that the person has taken the pumpkin. You can go over here and you can see now that I've gotten four of the pumpkin heads. Now that I've gotten the four, you can also see that this track has changed. This is basically my multiple ending track. As this counts up, as the people that you have found slowly increases, it changes the endings. So let's just say we were on this one before and we only found two people. We would travel down this track and we would end up at the worst ending. Worst ending. Ah. Oh. However, the way it was set up was that we found that one and that one. So when we go on the exact same track, go down here. Oh, look at that. We're at the average ending now. Yay. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to wire everything into the same circuit into the piston over there. So let's build one. We need first our goal. So let's say the goal is to go up and talk to this fellow. He's right there, but he's trapped in sand. And he can't see anything. Now we're going to trigger this a completely different way. We're going to put redstone here, here, and here. Now this is always going to be on, so we're going to want to invert the signal. And obviously a lot of this stuff you can hide. Now we have the signal is off. 
Now we're going to go through an RS neural latch. So we're going to put a block there and there, diagonal across from each other. Place a torch there, there, fill in the redstone, like that. Now we want this one to be on, because we want the other one to be off first. So when this block is removed, this redstone path will be disrupted, this torch will turn on, that will turn this torch off, which will turn this torch on, <laughs> and then we'll run through our mono-stable circuit, which looks something like this. Torch there, torch there, redstone across the back over the top, and a repeater down the middle. We extend that to the longest. Now we're just going to run this straight over here to the input. We want to put a repeater in between the general input and not, just in case, so we don't want the signal from any of these other ones to go back on itself. And now when we go over here, now the quest is to reveal the face of the pumpkin. So we go over here, oh, there's the face. That turned that off, that turned that on, went through the monostable circuit, and in theory, we got an extra counter on here. So we'll have a look at this counter. I guess I should quickly pop in a bed. And we'll have a look at the counter and the way it's designed. This is obviously a really simple one, but it only goes one way and you have to manually reset it. There are pu purely electronic ones. So here we are in the brain room of Aaron of Mansion Adventure. You can see it's much bigger and there's wires going everywhere. Now these wires, they each come from one of the NPCs and they come down here to that single block right there. Now that single block slowly counts up this here. This is an electronic version of the counter that you saw and as it slowly goes up one at a time it changes things. Each of these bars goes to a different scoreboard and some of these go to a, uh, I think it's this one over here. This one goes to the ending selection track which changes your destination for the endings. So this is what it looks like in a uh, large scale adventure map. It can get very complicated but it's very awesome. We'll get into that another time. This is just mainly for a concept. What we have is just a bunch of repeaters and then a bunch more repeaters and then a block, a torch, this is just to invert the signal. Oops. And then some blocks on top of that. Now this one is what basically our counter is. We're going to get rid of that for now. We're going to... actually no we're not. <laughs> we're going to leave that redstone torch there and connect all of these up. And we're going to put a glass as the first block. Not for any real particular reason, just because that's what I like to do. <laughs> and we're going to put a piston right beside it here. Now every time we have that monostable circuit go into this piston, it will push one block over and it will increase the counter by one. Now this, through this technology, you can greatly increase the interactivity with your map. Check it out in the Aaron Ev Mansion Adventure and uh, see what something like this can do to make your map a better map. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next custom map tech video.